Well, it was a pretty warm Sunday. Temperatures made it up into the middle 90s in El Paso, 95 degrees. The record high was 98, so we were just three degrees shy of that. And tomorrow on Monday, it looks to be even warmer. Here's a look at those record highs this week. You can see 96 is the forecast high for Monday. We very well could hit that record high of 97. And then Tuesday is going to be another close day. 95 is the forecast, the record high 97. Temperatures do cool off after that, so we do look to be uh, below those record highs as we head into the middle part of the week. But still, record possible for Monday and Tuesday in El Paso, and it's all because of some very dry air that's in place. Dew points are in the 20s and 30s. That monsoon moisture has slid to the east and out of the area, but it does look like moisture is going to make a return as we head throughout this week. A very slow return, but more clouds mean cooler temperatures as we head into the latter part of the week, and of course the rain chances will be welcome for those of you who do want the rain. Now you can see the future track does show by 3 a.m. fairly quiet across the area. Starting off tomorrow morning. It does look to be quiet. And then as we head into the afternoon by 4 p.m., some showers and storms get going for eastern areas back towards Van Horn and Sierra Blanca, but everyone else is going to stay dry and very sunny. And that's really going to allow those temperatures to surge on the day on Monday. That is going to be the best bet to breaking any records during this week. Now, as we head to Tuesday, a few more clouds are going to be possible as some moisture begins to work back in from Arizona. But it does look to be a mostly sunny day as we head throughout the day once again. And temperatures are going to climb a few more thunderstorms though possible, especially in those higher elevations back towards the Sacramento and the Gila Mountains. So you will want to watch that out if you do plan on going on any hikes on Tuesday. But other than that, in Las Cruces and El Paso, it does look to be another dry day. You can see rain chances are gone Monday and Tuesday, but they do begin to return Wednesday, Thursday around 20%, Friday 10% again, and then we do dry out as we head into next weekend once more. So uh, rain chances really not all that likely the next seven days. Again, that monsoon moisture beginning to wind down now monsoon season wraps up at the very end of September. County cast for tonight 71 in Fort Bliss, 66 in Clint, 67 in Fabens with mostly clear conditions. For the day tomorrow, a very hot day 98 in Anthony and Clint, 97 in Fort Bliss, and 96 in Socorro. Can you believe the first day of fall is this week? Certainly not feeling like fall Thursday, the first official day. And these temperatures are going to stay warm all week long in Las Cruces tonight, 62 degrees. Tomorrow, warming up to 95. Winds very light out of the east at just five miles an hour. Lots of sunshine. In El Paso tonight, 68 degrees, clear conditions, and tomorrow, 96 in an east wind at 5 miles an hour. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. You can see plenty of sunshine and temperatures finally do begin to drop Wednesday down to the low 90s and then even 80s possible as we head into the day on Friday. It does look to cool off even more as we head into the weekend as a cold front moves through the area, dropping those temperatures, but dry conditions do return for Saturday and Sunday.